Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a Solar Cycle 25 update. Tuesday, June 30th at midnight. Now, the latest predictions for the coming solar cycle are, are all over the map. We've been following it since their inception years ago. And the most recent predictions have shown us a weaker solar cycle until today. Keep calm. It's boom time. The thousand-year sunspot model has been predicted for cycle 25 to be much less than 24. Cycle 26 to be the grand solar minimum maximum here, where the grand solar minimum itself would cover this period here of about 70 years, including cycle 24, 5, 6, 7, and 8 when we come back into a solar max here. That was the original plan, and the predictions continued. Solar cycle 25 is going to be the lowest as it was back in the early 1900s or 1800s, late 1800s. This would be Dalton minimum equivalent, even Maunder minimum equivalent. Now, as far as Wikipedia is concerned, solar cycle 25 is the current and 25th solar cycle. Now, they're claiming at Wikipedia that we're already in cycle 25, as well as many others. And I've hedged my bets, and I thought recently maybe we're entering it. But let's break down the data. First new sunspots in 40 days herald the coming solar cycle. Back in early January of 2020, Many solar physicists, plasma physicists, and, and sun watchers were claiming cycle 25 has begun. While at the same time, many were claiming cycle 25 will never begin. Will there even be sunspot cycle 25? Well, that's anyone's guess. Because here we're going to look at the data. We're going to break it down on air, live. You're looking at the last year of daily solar wind at Soho, solin.info. And you can clearly see that the solar wind speed has been decreasing over the last year and is now at a minimum. So those that can claim that this bump up is the beginning of solar cycle 25 may have some problems because we're still extending much lower than that as we move forward. And the evidence gets ever clearer. If we look at the electron influence, yes, electron flux, you can see here that since, let's come down here and catch this date, 2020, 511. Since May of this year, we have been at the bottom of electron flux, which means we're still in the minimum of 24, in my opinion. And here, let's look at the solar cycle sunspot number progression through May 2020. It still shows us at the deepest minimum in the last 150 years. And then the ISES solar cycle AP progression. Look at where we are down here. This, we are no, in no way increasing into cycle 25 at the present based on all data sources we are still in the deepest minimum ever experienced in human history and yet people are claiming we're in cycle 25 i don't get it now this paper coming out the 27th of june just three days ago overlapping magnetic activity cycles and the sunspot number forecasting sunspot cycle 25 is now pushing, here we see, let's get some graphs here. This is the last 70 years of sunspots dropping off, okay? And then if we come to the end of the paper here, I don't know what they're basing this on. You can read the paper yourself. But what they're claiming is that cycle 25 is going to be the highest activity cycle in all of modern history, going back to the 1700s. Now, if this is the case, I don't know what this green dot means. This would be my estimate at the max 
but they're now pushing it up to the purple dot here, which would be higher solar activity than any time since 1840. Now, if that's the case, we're fluxed. And let me tell you why. Because the magnetic field of Earth has been waning rapidly since 1850. And as of 2000, has basically dropped off the map. Our wane, waning magnetic field is our protection from space weather. And if we're about to have the largest solar cycle since 1840, then the grid is doomed to fail. Same thing that happened during the Carrington event. Now, we've been monitoring the polar shift since the turn of the century. And the poles have rapidly been moving from their stable position here. Boom, there's the rapid movement. Starting at about 1900, they've been racing to a new position. Now, what does that mean for you and I? Well, when the magnetosphere wanes like this so rapidly, it puts our grid and electronics in a very vulnerable state from solar flares. And if the prediction that we just showed you is true, and we're going into a very rapid buildup of solar activity, the next two or three years- Earth's magnetic field protects us from deadly space radiation. Oh, I hate that guy. Don't ever watch his videos. He just ruined ours. But if a solar flare comes in the next two or three years, this would mean destruction of our grid because our grid, our infrastructure is vulnerable. The question, is water wet? Here's a picture before and after when the grid fails. And the glowing white lights here, I don't know what those are, but those wouldn't exist if there was no grid, in my opinion. A solar flare has the ability to take out the grid. And I'm not talking a big one like the Carrington event. If a Carrington event flare happened at our current magnetic resistance, where the magnetosphere is today, the entire planet would light on fire. All of the copper wires would heat up, buildings would burn, forests would light a flame. On the side of the earth facing that impact, there would be major fire struggles. And that's your future. Infrastructure loss, grid down, fire struggles, poor air quality, lack of food, no infrastructure. Are you preparing for this? I hope so. We've been warning about it for years. Before and after. The modern Stone Age. Now, a paper has predicted this. All evidence suggests that we're still, still in super minimum, so it's not happening anytime soon, meaning the next six months to a year. But if this prediction comes true, who knew? Here's the paper. We're going to leave you links to it below. Please read it. It's not that long. Barely 50 pages. No, it's 12 pages. I'm kidding you. But according to these researchers, which, which are the top of the field, we may be in, well, for a big boom coming soon. Proper fire planning prevents piss poor performance when the next solar flare takes out the grid. Are you growing food? Do you know the implications? I hope so. We're here to prepare you, not scare you. If you're growing your own food, you have access to clean water, no one is coming for you. No one will be moving around. It will take a long time before Mad Max occurs. And that's a boom. Most of the population will just starve to death in place. Those that are ready will survive and thrive in the future. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Share this video with like-minded people. Avoid the solar flare effect. It's not a question of if. 
It's a question of when. Our magnetosphere has waned over 20% in the last two decades. And it's rapidly increasing. And we're rapidly preparing the public for what's coming. Be safe. We love each and every one of you. Share this with like-minded people. And start prepping now. Today is the first day of the rest of your life.